Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Andy. That's Harold. Oh, wrong hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little, it's mirrored. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Or it's not mirrored. It's just the way that, anyways. Mm. Hi. <laughs> it's good to see your lovely faces. We're, uh, we're the Chocolate Milk Friends, two or three of, uh, of the Chocolate Milk Friends. Our buddy Josh couldn't be with us today. No, unfortunately. Well, he came down with a, with a case of Californication. Yes. And work. And work. <laughs> But anyways, we're still here, and we're playing a game based on a movie, based on a book. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I'm interested to see how this translates to a video game. I really, yeah. I really... Like, what do you do? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm starving! <laughs> so do we go around and starve for a little while first, and then we, we find a dollar, and we buy a chocolate bar? <laughs> Scrounge for money to buy the chocolate. <laughs> Grandpa pulls some ten cents out of his toes. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, this is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory on the Nintendo GameCube, uh, released back in 2005, developed by Thank High you. Voltage Games and published by Global Star Software, but neither of which I've heard of. Uh, no, I have not heard of them either. What's the rating? Rated probably E10 and up? E for everyone. E for everyone. E for everyone. So this is going to be purely kitty innocence. Experience a factory full of nutty inventions, whipple scrumptious candy, <laughs> Oompa Loompas imported directly from Oompa Land, oh, slaves, <laughs> imported and directly. some horribly rotten children. Oh, I don't know if the children are the only things that are rotten in mm. this factory. <laughs> Discover surprises around every corner. The factory is open and yours to explore, but remember, there's no knowing where you'll be going. Okay. <laughs> So it looks like we solve puzzles. Oh, we do get to help the Oompa Loompas, but I highly doubt it's helped them escape to freedom. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope. help them be better employees. You can gain incredible abilities using candy powers. Ooh, one million candy power. Mm. Oh, that's just a developer. <laughs> that's not an opening cutscene for anything. Okay. Good job. We won! Yay! We found a golden <laughs> ticket. New game. And this is obviously going to be... Wait a second. You don't have a memory card? Slide I A? I do have a memory card. Oh, it's not pushed in all the way. Oh. There we go. Make sure you... It's all the way in. Yes. That's an important part, fellas. Anything that has anything to do with inserting. Mm -hmm. Always make sure it's inserted all you the way. Yeah, insert it all the way in. They can tell when it's not in yet. Yep. Preamble here. This is the story of an ordinary little boy named Charlie Bucket. He was not faster or stronger or more clever than other children. And though his family was terribly poor, Charlie was the lucky boy Fuck off, boy Grandpa Joe. You yeah, right? <laughs> mm. Follow me. He just didn't know it yet. Or is he trying to get him to hurry up? Like John. Factory. Oh, man. No one's been in or out for years. Was he doing out of bed? Yeah. Not since he closed it up and sent us all home. I know, Grandpa Joe. I wish we could see inside. Did they read and the, world the wished book or watch either of the movies then for making this game? An unexpected <laughs> proclamation. Dear people of the world, I, Willy Wonka, have decided to allow five children to visit my factory. Five golden tickets have been hidden beneath the wrappers of five ordinary Wonka bars. Each of the finders will be shown around the factory personally by me. In addition, one of these children will receive a special prize. Beyond anything you could ever imagine. Beyond anything you could ever imagine. But I haven't any money for chocolate. Nothing's impossible, Charlie. Nothing. We can go kill someone and steal money. The first golden <laughs> ticket was found by a gluttonous boy named Augustus Blue. I'm eating the Wonka bar, but I taste the ticket. The second by a small little girl named Veruca Sword. Daddy, I want a golden ticket now. The third was found by Violet Beauregard, an arrogant gum-chewing champion. The winner of that special prize is gonna be me. 
and the four golden ticket was found by an ill-mannered genius named Mike TV. I calculated just where to look. An idiot can do it. Charlie's dream of exploring the Wonka factory was fast slipping away when fate intervened. Oh man, it just hands it to us. Can't even, $10? No $10? How much Ooh. are the chocolate bars? Damn, $10? <laughs> he don't even need to go to Wonka's factory now. <laughs> he can survive for the next year with his family. Well, I mean, inflation, that's probably... Oh, you do gotta work for it. Get it. She said $10 bill. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wow. Okay, I do have some camera control here. Uh, it went to the right. Oh, it was, there, it there, is, it is. there it is. Oh, you can jump. Okay. This is, oh, you throw snowballs at the B button. Seems unnecessary. <laughs> Take that. Well, now he's... Give me. This actually plays into my idea that Willy Wonka is magic and gave him the $10. Yeah. Because this $10 bill is not acting like a normal $10 bill right now. <laughs> mm, it's, uh, you have to knock the money off the fence. Period. Oh, I did it. Oh, okay. What did you think of that... Uh, that voice facsimile of uh, Johnny Depp's <laughs> take on Willy Wonka. It was uh, close, I might say. Wait, I can use the truck? Yeah. Where's the box? Oh, the oh. box. Okay. Jeez, oh, damn, man. Well, then again, <laughs> you got a whole box of Wonka chocolates. Why do you <laughs> care about the ten bucks at this point? You yes. sell the, yeah, I'm just gonna take just this home. Take that home. <laughs> just, Game over. <laughs> Mummy, Daddy, I found some food. It was lying in the streets. <laughs> There's nobody around. <laughs> I think you need the box. I probably need to climb up on the box, yeah. Yep. Yep. Even though he, uh, he that kid's got some jumps, man. He's got hops. Yep. He can carry a big old crate of <laughs> chocolate, chocolate bars. Like, I don't think I could lift a box filled with uh, with chocolate bars. Yeah, it's, big. it's clearly not an empty box. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Now somebody's gonna lose their job. <laughs> <laughs> Especially since they're just leaving product everywhere. What the hell? Oh no! No! Oh no! Uh, yeah. Let's lift this whole pallet. Yeah, just the pallet. <laughs> Take that home. <laughs> I Man, don't... give this kid a job. <laughs> right? I doubt this game was anywhere on my radar in 2005. Oh, yeah. I mean... But the thing is, is it does look like and play like many other games of the same ilk. You know, these adventure mm -hmm. platformer type games. So it's really only the story that would have kept it out of my my sight. Yeah. Not only that, but like it's a Tim Burton movie, and they made the the animated characters in the game look pretty Tim Burton esque. With yeah. The, with the like little beady eyes, kind of like the the Coraline. Uh, Aesthetic going there, or even like the proportions of his body, like the thin, super thin yeah. legs, where the thighs and the calves are the same, mm -hmm. the same thickness and everything. Yeah, it's interesting design. Oh, Ricky fell off the fucking building. <laughs> Ooh, ah, oh shit! And now you're sled chasing this thing? Oh, like, my God. Man, you were working. This is not worth ten bucks. No! <laughs> Chase that money. Oh, fuck. Like, what if the golden ticket bar was in one of those boxes? Right. Just take one of those boxes home and dick through them, boy. 
about to get hit by Wonka trucks. The only cars on the road are Wonka delivery trucks. <laughs> oh well, ah, it's been out of control. I wonder if it's possible to die. I, fail. I don't. It doesn't look like I can fail this. I, there's probably a way to fail. Maybe not. It's a it's a rated E game. Right. I'm just gonna hit as much stuff as I can. I'm not slowing down. I'm purposely trying to hit stuff now. Nope. No failure. Got it. Hey. Okay. So. And it just happens to be <laughs> next to a candy store. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Just like in the book. Chapter 1, The Wonka Factory. Yeah, no, I remember the whole, like, two-chapter <laughs> sequence. It's an He's interesting arc. Hungry. Ten dollars was enough to feed his entire family for a week. So after careful consideration, Charlie decided to spend just one dollar of it on himself. Can't go for a whole week on ten bucks. And a bar of chocolate costs a whole dollar. Put it back the wrapper. But they can feed the family for a week on it. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit selfish there. Another bite was one small corner of shiny paper, a golden ticket, the very last one in the entire world, and Charlie had found it. Greetings to you. The lucky finder of this golden ticket is Mr. Willie Wonka. Mm. Joey Charlie Mumbles over there. Ticket home to show his family as quick as his little legs could carry him. And he reminds me of the voice Charlie from uh, Joe Fable. And the other four ticket holders look at gathered at the gates of the chocolate factory. Man, look how fat that one dude is. When they got inside. I'm keeping my eyes on the prize. I will devour every one of the chocolates and candies and things of this nature. I'm going to look for things I want my daddy to get me. I'm getting bored. Do you think Wonka's got any video games in there? Do you think Mr. Wonka will recognize you? Hard to say. It's been years since I worked for him. And exactly at the yeah, they were super time, hard on him in the book. And <laughs> not so much in this video game. There stood Willy Wonka himself. Dear visitors, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to my humble factory. Now quickly, we mustn't dawdle. There's far too much to see. With little time and lots to see, the tour began. And they were whisked away to the very heart of the Wonka factory. The chocolate room. <laughs> Same pose. What's more, <laughs> it's all edible. And it was. For every single thing around them was made of candy, even down to the green grass on the banks of his chocolate river. I'm in heaven! I bet. I want a chocolate river. I want two. The last one to the riverbank's a rotten egg. Every drop of that river is hot melted chocolate of the finest quality. Waterfall is most important. No other factory in the world mixes its chocolate by waterfall. When Augustus Blue heard that, he was determined to drink his fill. Just one sip? No, two sips. But even that proved too little for Augustus. Please, boy, please. My chocolate must be untouched by human hands. Leaning out to guzzle the chocolate, the gluttonous boy lost his balance and fell right in. Gluttonous. That's <laughs> what Gluttonous. He was drawn into an enormous chocolate pipe when he stuck fast. It's not big enough. And they're not calling him fat so much. <laughs> no, no, they're not. Just gluttonous. Gluttonous. They boil it down to his vice. Eventually he'll come out. The pressure will get to him, you know. And yet... If Augustus were freed earlier, the river could be clean quicker, and production would <laughs> What the hell is that look on his face, and though? <laughs> I don't know what that is all about. Just in helping Augustus, Wonka left the task to Charlie. Be about your work, then, and rejoin the tour when you can. I'll be able to check back with you at a moment's notice, though, so don't be surprised to see me. Charlie agreed Stay behind. Wait a second. But as for this how is to totally get changes the story. <laughs> from the pipe, Charlie was about to find he would have more help 
unexpected. So are we we're saving Augustus Gloop from the tube now? Yeah. You have the job of saving Augustus Gloop from the tube. I have to save that glut of those four. My Oompa Loompas will help you remove that greedy boy from my chocolate. Quickly now. Loompas are the best workers a cocoa bean can buy, but nearly impossible to keep track of. <laughs> Which reminds me, you'll need two Oompa Loompas to help you, so try searching the meadow for them. Alright, we gotta go find two Oompa Loompas. Two Oompa Loompas. If you ever need help, Charlie, don't hesitate to ask your old Grandpa Joe. It's been a while, but I still remember a few things about this place. But I feel like the factory was different after after good good over there. I found it. Like it wasn't so fantastical. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. I mean, they didn't have the Oompa Loompas yet. Right. I feel like the Oompa Loompas are part of why it's so fantastical now. Got the square candies that look round. Snowballs in here. Uh, he does uh, nothing. An Oompa Loompa. Oh, don't worry. They are friendly. Oh, you command the Oompa Loompa. Oh, 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 oh. Training you to be a slave master early. <laughs> Give me info. Who hurt you? What can I do to help? To help. I can't have these pipes clogged forever. If the portly boy can't free himself, we have no other choice. We'll have to blow him out. Hurry now, to the bellows! They don't make it too hard to find those either. Like those seem to be popping up pretty easy. I imagine if you just kind of ran around, get to work. <laughs> They're like, I don't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> Maybe if you jump in the chocolate river. Ooh, that's an idea. Hey, another Oompa. This way. There you go. Go. Here's where you should go. You should run for the door. Run for the door. Take as many Oompa Loompas as you can with you and take them to freedom. <laughs> you know, in the outside world, the economy is not based on cocoa beans. Totally missed where I gotta take these Oompa Loompas. Yeah, I'm not seeing it give you any kind of indication of where you're supposed to go. It's like, don't worry, you won't fail, but we ain't gonna help you figure it out. <laughs> I mean, at this point right now, it said find two Oompa Loompas, you got a whole tribe of Oompa Loompas behind you. Know? I am your new god. Follow. Um, These bellows okay. look pretty small to me, I'm gonna Charlie. For help. See, maybe the Oompa Loompas bellows. Oh shoot! Bellows, bellows. I don't see those. Let's 
Let's see another square candy. There's one more. Oh shit. Did they get lost if I jump up on the ledge like that? Yeah. Oh, okay, they were going up and around. Okay, so it just says help them by finding more. I thought it said find two Oompa but maybe I added two in there. Those bellows look pretty small to me, Charlie. Okay, I have to find the bellows and force the, the labor to <laughs> work. To work them. It's just a matter of finding bellows. Yeah. Without falling in the Chaka River, I suspect. Can I? Oh yeah. Okay. okay. Let's just go back to the start. Now, do you have to go find all the Oompa-Loompas again, or do they come they, run? They come run back to me. Nice. At least, at least two of them. Yeah, I think you only needed two, is what it said, so... Oh, no. Oh, no they're, 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 still, they're still... They're still loyal. Well, you did clap, and that's their... <laughs> oh, that's their fear response. Now, what was down that way where there was a liquid guy down in there? Mm. Uh, there's a bellows! Can you make your walk? Get to work! Get to work! Get to work! Oompa Loompa Doopity Do It! <laughs> Of energy to keep you on your toes. You'll often find it in trees, so you need these. Everlasting gobstoppers. You can suck on them all year and they'll never get any smaller. And if you throw them, they pack quite a wallop. Did I mention they taste terrific? So they're perfectly round. <laughs> the gobstoppers. Some bullshit. And then also they are weapons. They do change color. Look at that. I mean, that's kind of cool. But they don't look as dangerous. <laughs> Alright, where am I supposed to go? You gotta go throw your gobstopper into some trees to get some water vitamins. Take that. It doesn't give you any kind of, like, aiming. Uh, if I hold B. It's Wonka Bite! Wonka Bite! Wait, no, it's not. That's oh. a lolly doodle, which is every bit as delicious. Go ahead, eat it. You'll feel much better. Yes, I trust you, androgynous fellow. <laughs> eat everything. With the magic slaves. <laughs> Try one of those green short trees right there. That was the one they were pointing out for the Wonka Vites. It's Wonka Vite, full yeah, of energy, which makes go. it hard Water to catch. It's quite after refreshing if you're running out of steam. You can use a gobstopper to stun it, or have my Oompa Loompas catch some for you. Oh, it runs away from you? Stun it with a gobstopper. Go get it. You've got one. Aren't they wonderful? A growing boy needs a lot of Wonka Vite to stay healthy. Otherwise, you'd stop growing. Might even shrink. And you might be mistaken for an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Silly. Wouldn't want that. No, we might be mistaken <laughs> for an Oompa Loompa, that's for sure. Up on it. 
Give up the goods. Now I still don't understand what the hell you're supposed to be doing right now. Right? Now that you've got Augustus Hoopo. I mean, he's still... No, he's... Oh, no, he went up. Okay. He's gone. Okay. You Grandpa, what do I do? Maybe the Oompa Loompas can catch the Wonka Vice. No, you just gotta catch some Wonka Vice. I'm sure they'd like. give it to you if oh. they did. Just gotta keep working at building up my strength. Yeah, so probably those... Those trees right there. Yeah. Yeah, the little, little guy is coming out of the... Fetch! Unlimited gobstoppers. That he would have selflessly rescued the <laughs> blue buzz. <laughs> oh, you got ten candies on the ground. Oh, what's. Oh, is this. Uh, invisible wall! Okay, that'll. come into play later, I guess. We gotta come up with some way to keep them in this room for a while after all the work we did on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder if this is gonna be the most intricate uh, part of the game. Okay, where... Was there... What about the spot where you got down to the bellows back past the, across the river on the other way side? Over there. Yeah, yeah, I think I see the opening in the far corner. So I went to the wrong corner. Mm, I think that's the tunnel. Oh, no, the river. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. ah. You'll play this game for hours on end. <laughs> Trying to get around this spot. Should just go because over the, you got the bridge on the far end to the right over there. Go over that bridge over there. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the whole game. The whole <laughs> game. It's just you running around in this room, getting Wonka vitamins, and be like, now I'll go look for at the wall. There's a 
There's a chicken that lives near the wall over there. <laughs> okay, now right over there. Don't, don't in that area. Is that anything? Is that the... Oh, I can open the door. Yo. Ow, smack the loop in the face. How can one child, even such a large one, cause so many problems? I never caused problems when I was a child. I waited till I was a grown-up. Look what he's doing to my jelly bean stock. It's wilting. Hmm. I don't remember this part of the chocolate room Not all the Oompa in the are factory. Like, you know, harvesters, <laughs> for example, are perfect for gathering candy from even the tallest branches. Harvesters. Don't need your help, Grandpa. Mm -hmm. right you go to work on that. Do something. More like lazy Loompas. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Vents can be plugged with jelly bean stock and fine balls. Oh shit. Oh okay. no. Why do we want to plug vents? I thought we wanted to open shit up. Ask the harvester to work. Excellent! A jelly bean stock can. These are quite delicious and useful too. They might even help get that pest out of my plumbing. This isn't your ordinary candy store jelly bean, you know. You know, it's like Charlie's essentially it's already jelly won. Bean stock candy. Right. <laughs> Wonka is jelly bean stock. teaching him how to do things around the factory. Like a little ball of vines. But they should have just gone with that premise. Well, and I mean, what exactly did Charlie win at this point? He won, he gets to go work? Like he's going to be one of the Oompa Loompas now? <laughs> Oompa I want to make you lead Oompa Loompa. <laughs> That's the prize beyond their wildest imagination. You get to be the boss of a bunch of little, little dudes. A generator it makes Wonka bots. Nice. Only when my Oompa Loompas need them. And never more than they need. Unless I need more. Okay. Pull the right select jelly bean stock power. Jelly bean stock candy. There's X to throw trap. So why to pick up vine ball? Keep going, keep going. Down, down. Like when yeah, like, when you're like, like you would think like dead center right in the back. Yeah, yeah. You know, just kinda Ugh. Rolls around, around and on top and uh, well, Did you get a Wonka bot yet? I did not get a Wonka bot. Yeah. Can you do it? Caught a Wonka bot. Oh, and got a vine ball. Ugh. Okay, now I gotta pick this up. Yep. So you have to create a sentient robot and then kill it. <laughs> Wrap it up in a ball of vines. Ow. Fuck. It forces me to step into the spikes just to pick it up. Okay, now, um... You hold B? Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, well, shit. Nice, nice shot. <laughs> 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 uh, doesn't really let me aim it. Oh, 
Okay, I wasn't aiming for that one, but... Nice, good word. That was a perfect <laughs> shot. Yeah, I did that on purpose. There. Bitch. Now we know what you're doing. Right. Most fun ever. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why this game wasn't way bigger than than it is. I mean, geez. Mm -hmm. Why? How and come I, they were able to make like Halo Five all the way up through Five, <laughs> and like you know, make all these other games? This is where it's at. I don't know why the book didn't follow this plot. This is like right. <laughs> There. What I really don't know is how they expect kids to figure all this shit out. Right, yeah. There he goes. My jelly bean stock is starting to look a little better now. So the jelly bean stock needed chocolate to survive? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I guess it is a jelly bean stock, so yeah, it looks like it did. Me and chocolate. And not just a little bit of chocolate either, man. That thing's pumping chocolate. Just huge foot wide tube of chocolate <laughs> pumping straight into the vine. It's not like it's sitting in a pool of chocolate soaking it up like a normal root would. No, it's like intravenous injection. You really haven't done it. You think there'd be an easier way to create those vine balls than creating a <laughs> robot and then <laughs> Thank you for creating me. Oh no. What is my purpose? <laughs> Spread butter. Oh, oh well, maybe you gotta get to work. Yeah, you gotta get first. Down. There, yeah. Yeah. Ow! You shouldn't be able to plug it before you start the well, system up. That doesn't make any sense. It's just like when I'm working on my plumbing, you know, I turn the water on and then I start trying to put things <laughs> together. Right? That's how you plug leaks, is you turn the water on, see where the water's coming out, then plug it. Mm hmm Only way to do it. It at least makes for a more interesting day. <laughs> <laughs> no, come back. Grab your ball. Aw, oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah. Well, he come further over to the left. Like aim it a little bit more of an angle. Ah. Uh, Spikes. Maybe if I bank it along the wall. There hey. we go. Much better. I do believe you've almost done it. I don't know, Wonka. I think your whole. Your whole building is a little convoluted, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a lot of things we gotta do here that aren't normal things. <laughs> One might even call it child endangerment. <laughs> OSHA would call it worker abuse. <laughs> Look like a uh. 
Charlie can jump like seven or eight feet in the air <laughs> from a stand. <laughs> Imagine what he can do when he's not malnourished. Right? I think Charlie Bucket might be Captain America. He <laughs> <Zero Merlin. laughs> The government's like, no, there was a reason we were keeping him underfed. <laughs> now there's no stopping him. Get to work! Come on! <laughs> oh my god, this goddamn chocolate room! <laughs> it's the worst! Tour of a happy candy factory ever! <laughs> Ooh, can you roll that Oompa Loompa up into a ball and throw him at the bed? Ooh. That is silly. Now I set up to work on that. <laughs> you would think that the Oompa Loompa's lives would be considered so <laughs> worthless that uh, they'd be candidates for being rolled up into balls and, hey, get in my. Uh, I'm willing to bet that in one iteration of the game they were, and then they thought about it and they were like, oh, let's make walkabots instead. Yeah, let's make them dispo actually disposable things. Man, this is just menial work. It's, it is. It's all menial work. Rinse and repeat. And it's... But you're getting these amazing candy powers, though. You know, like being able to wrap robots and vine balls and throw gobstoppers. Mm -hmm. It's almost as if some things just don't lend themselves to being made into video games. <laughs> almost. Like, how many books were eventually adapted into video games? I'm trying right. to think of any other ones. Uh, yeah, no, I'm trying to think of one too. Well, like, yeah, Lord I... of the Rings has a bunch of games. Oh, yeah, I guess they do, yep. Yeah, but that one lends itself to a game more just because, like, you could easily see any number of video game stories being swords and orcs and dragons and, you mm -hmm. know, I mean, that is video game territory. Yeah, anything with adventure. Yeah. But fixing, or taking a tour of a chocolate factory isn't, and we know that because you aren't even on a tour anymore. You are now <laughs> working for Willy Wonka. Mm -hmm. This is what happened to the Oompa Loompas. They came over, he was like, here's some cocoa beans, you know, just relax, don't worry, let me show you the chocolate room. Yeah. Oh shit, look at that, something's caught in the pipe. Well, you better, better get to it. it. <laughs> better start jumping on them bellows. I'll give me some of your favorite food. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, you don't want to do it? Oh, well, I don't want to give you any more cacao beans. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go home? Oh, it was a one-way trip. You're going to have to pay your own way. <laughs> <laughs> now let's get to the point where anytime you see a Palupas pop up, you know that there are tasks <laughs> to be done. Yeah, like, hey, you got some more work, man. Right Game's just giving them to me. And it's for the same stupid task. I mean, this is only Augustus Gloop so far. Right. What else are we going to have to do for the rest of the kids? Right. Are and where are the rest of the kids? What are they doing? They're on the tour! <sighs> Charlie, the poor kid who doesn't have anything, was forced into labor for Mr. Wonka while he took the rest of them on the fun, splendiferous <laughs> tour. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> uh. Oh wait, my dad I died. Oh man, you oh, ran shit. out of life. And pick the right or left off. And okay, maybe. Ah, you asshole. Oh no. <laughs> Get back here! <laughs> that did it. Okay. Which way am I even facing? Ta! Ah! Uh, son of a gun. Hey! Alright! 
That was lucky. Yeah, it was. Kill click! Brilliant. And my jelly bean stock is coming back to life. But we mustn't dawdle. By now, the blockage has probably reached the Wriggle Sweets room. Hurry, no telling what the damage could be. No. So he's not leaving the tour anymore. He's in here no, watching he's you. the damage control. Being your uh, supervisor. Goodness. Yeah, I don't care about completionism. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Moving on. <laughs> I don't know how much playism you should continue <laughs> to do at some point here. I think we got the gist of it. <laughs> Alright. I think I think we get we've seen enough of uh, of this game. I think. Yeah, I think I've seen enough <laughs> of this game. Uh, so that's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the video game based on the movie, based on the book. I don't see how this relates because it already, like you were saying earlier, it already seems like Charlie owns the factory. He's already responsible for the factory. Mm -hmm. Wonka's not even given the tour right now. Yeah. Where are those kids? Everybody's just gone, except for Augustus, who was stuck in a tube. Mm -hmm. I assume you're going to have to save other people as the game goes on, but, man, I can see why I didn't even know this game existed. <laughs> it, it really doesn't... I don't know what its audience is. Right. Like, it's a little too complicated for kids. It's a little too complicated for me. Right. I think but, uh, it's one of those things... I thought it was going to be a lot simpler. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it was to the extent that it took you all this time to finally die or fail. Mm -hmm. You know, and you didn't even realize it was going to happen. So, I mean, it was pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Now, I think what happens with stuff like this is they decide they were going to make the new movie, right? So they get Johnny Depp, they're going to make it closer to the book. They're like, oh, we're going to make it like the book. Ha ha ha. It's going to be so much closer. It'll be so much better than the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And I remember mm -hmm. people talking about it like that back then. They're like, oh my god, they're going to be close to the book. I was so kind they, of excited at the time. Right. Like, yeah. I was too, I guess. But at the same time, I don't know. I was and wasn't, I think. I think I was getting a little depth out at the moment. At that depth out? Yeah, oh, yeah, I think I was a little depth out at that point. It's definitely a big time for Johnny Depp. Yep. And so... So then the studio makes it, and the people who own the rights and everything are like, Well, I mean, we can't just stop there. You know what the kids want? They want a video game. And, they, and so they made a video game, regardless of whether or not it makes sense or works. I mean... Obviously, it works, like physically works, but I'm saying it doesn't work. It doesn't add to the story. And, like, right there, it didn't even work. Right, right. Yeah, this this doesn't add to the story. It doesn't add to the mythos of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It just kind of took the movie, the, the looks, the aesthetics of the movie, and made a game out of what it loosely is. And... You can't exactly make a video game out of the existing story, so... But then, I don't know. Well... Oof. I'm trying to talk and play at the same time. And, and the thing is, though, is this is kind of... This wasn't an, an, an abnormal thing years prior to this. Uh, every movie that came out... Mm -hmm. they would make a video game for, whether it worked or not. I remember the Terminator video games. I remember the RoboCop video game. One of the coolest video games I remember playing as a kid on Super Nintendo was RoboCop vs. Terminator. Oh, man. That was a bad game. Well, it was a bad game, and I thought it was badass at the time, but I don't ever <laughs> think I beat it. It was just a side-scroller. You were RoboCop. You had to run through. You just blast the Terminators. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can't even imagine playing these ones. Uh, the 101 Dalmatians video game, mm. Adam's Family video games, I mean, Aladdin, Aladdin was a good game, though. Yeah. You remember Aladdin? Yeah, that mm -hmm. was a fun one. Alien franchise games, there were some alien games that were cool, for mm -hmm. sure. And they don't necessarily have to straight up follow the plot. Yeah, yeah, it's not movie. necessary in those ones. Ants? I mean, Austin Powers? <laughs> there was an Austin Powers game? Apparently there was an Austin Powers game. Mm. 
the Evil Dead games. Yeah, I mean, it, the, a lot of the games that work as games from a movie are something where it isn't such... A, it, you're missing important pieces in this game mm -hmm. to make the story. Ooh, Goldeneye. Goldeneye follows the movie <laughs> pretty damn close. I mean... It adds a lot to it. It adds to it, mm -hmm. but it also follows the movie pretty damn close. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you wanted to. I don't want to try. I don't even want to try. Alrighty. I don't have the mental capacity at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for this video. Uh, go ahead, listen to Reliterated. It's a damn good podcast. We're really proud of it. Yep. And it's got a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory episode, which is what uh, brought us here today. So, and it's. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is one of our finer episodes. Yeah, no, I had a lot of fun with the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory episode, and after having listened to it myself already, I was I was really happy with the results. Mm -hmm. So go and find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, uh, Podbean, which which hosts our our podcast, Podcast Addict, Castbox. Yep. I mean, yeah, we're all over the place. I haven't found a place we weren't. You can actually just search Reliterated on Google, and uh, because it's a word that I just made up, <laughs> and we're the only ones with Reliterated. So yep. <laughs> It was a good move. It was a good move. Yep. So until next time, give a shit, read some lit. See you later.